guys, it's Holly and it is Mascara Monday. So today I have a waterproof mascara, HD Waterproof Lash Building Mascara. It says new, not sure if it actually is that new or what. It's new to me, I haven't seen it before. And it says thickens and defines lashes. This is from LA Colors and I got this at Dollar General. So let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna open this right now. It looks like a regular bristle brush. I'm just gonna, I don't hear anybody ever talking about um, LA Colors, really. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a nose going on, so. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right, so this is what the tube looks like, and I'm just gonna, we're gonna check this out. Oh, it's one of these spirally brushes, which I'm not really a great big fan of, so. Let me see, do I have a mirror? you think that I would prepare better for this, but you guys know. You know me, don't you? All right, so this is the waterproof one. Um, they had a couple of others, um, and I can't really remember if the other ones were waterproof or if it was like one of these brands that were, they have a waterproof mascara and other mascaras and like one like waterproof. So, all right, let's see what we've got. Oh, this is like a gigantic brush. All right, and so far I am seeing very little, like. This would be great, like, if you want extremely natural lashes, but that, um, a mascara that will, like, add the tiniest bit of length. That's what this would be good for, but there, I mean, I don't know who would really need that, like, I don't know, maybe if you do, like, photo shoots where you need, like, a, an extremely natural lash, but something that still defines the lashes and makes them blacker. That's what this is doing, really. I mean... Um, as of this point, I'm gonna get a little bit more product on and see if we can, how we can build this up, if we can. Okay, so now, that's looking a little bit better. But you, you can, I don't know if you can see, but look how they're like, kind of wanting to stick together into like little groups. Let's try the other eye. So this kind of looks to me like, um, I'm getting, I am getting length, but it kind of looks to me like the more you try to use the wand to kind of separate them, your lashes and like, keep them from just sticking together the more they want to stick together because like look at that can you see how like the, the groups of lashes are trying to stick together so it's not really separating them and then the more I try to separate them with the brush the more they will not separate and I have heard like these types of brushes kind of do that because look how much space is in between each you know spiral of bristles This wand is like, or the, the spoolie head on that is absolutely gigantic. Some crazy geese back there in the, in the river. <laughs> and I have a very, an extremely like natural foundation on today. Um, like a barely there kind of thing. It is giving me a lot of glow though, like a lot of dewiness. Which I'm not like the biggest fan of because I feel like it, instead of looking cute, pretty, and, you know, youthful and all that, it just makes me look greasy and disgusting, so. All right, so there, um, that was about, this one I had two coats for sure, and, um, this was four dollars at, uh, Dollar General, um, LA Colors 
brand of makeup is pretty inexpensive. Um, so I don't know. As of right now, my first impression is like I would not go out of my way to um, purchase this at all. Unless, I, I'm probably going to keep this just because I'm not going to, it was four bucks and I'm probably just not going to return it just because it's more, it's not worth my while to actually return it. It's more trouble to go return it than it is just to keep it and eat the four dollars. And I'll probably still use this like to layer up my other mascaras because I do like having a waterproof mascara to layer up on other ones that are not waterproof. Um, from now on though, for like ever now on, I'm probably always going to get a waterproof mascara just because why, <laughs> you know, why buy two mascaras when you want a waterproof mascara in the first place. So anyway, um, all right, so that's that for Mascara Monday, you guys. So yeah, I don't know. At this point, I can't really recommend this. Um, I will wear it for the rest of the day and see how it holds up if it is indeed waterproof. And uh, I'll check back in with you guys later. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.